Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. A five-member committee with Avinash Nil Kanthakare, ruling party leader in NMC as its president, has been formed to probe into stationary scam in the health department and other financial regularities in other departments on Thursday. Following direct use by Dashan Kathiwari, the mayor, the member of the committee at Anaji Vanve, opposition leader Vaishali Narnaure, advocate Sanjay Kumar Balpande and Sandeep Jadav. Thakre and Vanve had raised the issue of financial regularities and scam in the general body meeting of NMC on December 31, 2021, when the mayor had given directives to form the committee under Section 30 of Maharashtra Municipality Act, informs Dr. Ranjana Lade, Municipal Secretary. Vidarbha Taxpayers Association held its executive body meeting on terrace following COVID protocol, which was chaired by its president Shravan Kumar Malu on upcoming union budget for the year 2022-23 and also sent suggestions by memorandum to Narendra Modi, Prime Minister, Nirmala Sitharaman, Finance Minister and J.B. Mohapatra, Chairman, Central Board of Direct Taxes, New Delhi. At the outset, VIA President Shravan Kumar Maru congratulated the union government for continued revenue growth through GST and its India grows revenue stronger with indirect taxes and suggested direct tax rates and slabs need to amend suitably to bring more taxpayers on record. The threshold limit of income tax should be fixed at Rs 4 lakh while tax slabs from 5 to 10 lakhs be 10%. 10 to 20 be 15 percent while about 20 lakhs it should be 25 percent such a tax regime will help in developing tax culture in our country and shall promote the disclosure of income by all video suggested that to encourage corporate social responsibilities by the corporate it's suggested that such spending is allowed as expenditure for the purpose of income tax Nagpur says badminton player Malvika Bansor defeats Indian ace shuttler Saina Nehwal 21-17-21-9 in just 34 minutes in a round, second of Unix Sunrise Indian Open 2021, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour Super 500 on Thursday. I had a great match against Saina. This was the first meeting with her, so she has always been my idol. It was a dream come true to play against her at such a big event. This win has given me a confidence for further rounds, said Malika post-match. Saina said she is very good, doing really well at highest level. She plays rallies very well. She is going to improve. I hope she does well in the tournament. The event began from January 11 till January 16 and is being held at New Delhi. In a decision that will bring cheers on the faces of sports persons, since local authorities have decided to permit practices training and national level competition in the city to meet a rider. According to Piyush Ambulkar, sports officer Nagpur Municipal Corporation, a meeting was held regarding giving relaxation for sporting activities in the city. During the meeting attended by Assistant Municipal Commissioner Ram Doshi and Collector R. Vimla, it was decided to allow training practices at Badminton Hall ground only for those fully vaccinated at the training venue. Not more than 50 persons will be allowed. Ambulkar's audio message started. Taking precautions, the authorities decided to permit only fully vaccinated sports person to train. Sports persons willing to train on the field and indoor halls will have to be fully inoculated, stated Mr. Ambulkar. Even for other competitions, it was decided to allow the conduct of national level events on case-to-case -case basis. However, the authorities have decided not to permit district level sports competitions. Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education MSB's SHSE has decided to conduct Maharashtra SSA HSE exam 2022 as per the schedule released earlier. The State Board conducted a review in lieu of the present situation, however decided to not postpone the board exams for class 10 and 12. The exam will be conducted in February and March as per the timetable release. MSBS HSC school and college have been given freedom to conduct oral and practical exams as per the schedule, but the offline exams will be conducted as planned. Chairman Sharad Gosavi said schools and colleges can conduct their internal examinations as per their schedule and what is suitable, but the written exams will be conducted offline as per the 
schedule released earlier. However, based on the situations before the exams, a decision will be made, added Mr. Kosavi. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sachi Dikhai, Bina Chupai.